The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Oh, it started again last night. Survivor. Yeah, <laughs> did too. And Australian Idol. Idol. Australian Idol, Survivor. You know, and we're, Maths Night. You know we're back in ratings when, like, the three powerhouse shows. The, the tennis is over, bang, straight into it. Is there any value of competing against each other? I kind of think that, because they're all their kind of best shows going yeah. head to head at each other. Well, look, you, yeah. well, someone uh, Survivor never win. wins, right? Yeah. Survivor has a very um, strong online following, yeah. like some people stream And that. a bit of a, a cult following. Yes, um, uh, Maths is usually king. We haven't had Australian Idol. Um, Up uh, against like, yeah. And Australian Idol on Channel 7 too. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah, Especially it's a big difference. Perth, yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm wondering if that's going to have any effects on the ratings. But um, but maths just, I mean, just the idea of maths, uh, and I know that it just becomes, it's just, you know, pop culture fodder. But it's exhausting to me because uh, at the fundamental thing of it, I think these attractive people, if you cannot find a date in real life, there are some serious things wrong with you. Of course they can. <laughs> of course fundamental they can. Fundamental things. Right? Yeah, and which, which, but, which therefore shows how inauthentic the whole thing is because you're only doing it to go on TV. Oh, that, that, that show where they get pretend married? Yes. I can't believe it's inauthentic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what you, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. 100%. Yes. Then you see the guy from the Northern Territory who was just like a... Oh, but he was great. So he was wonderful, and then he was with the Perth girl, yep. um, and oh, what was her name? Lyndall. Lyndall and Cameron. She um, has just gotten on medication for cystic fibrosis. Yep. Beautiful love story. We'll probably never see them again. That's why, right. because it's really yeah. lovely. Yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. Right. that's yeah. right. You know what I mean? Cool. That's yeah. right. Cool. I hope the best for them. Um, there's another Perth girl. Her name was Bronte. Um, she'd been paired up with a guy named Harrison. Now, Harrison's the one that John Aitken, when he came in here, said, keep your eye on Harrison. He's going to be the one that everyone's talking about. Mm. And I tell you what, um, uh, John Aitken was 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 bang on. Um, Harrison got me offside way before the wedding ceremony even happened. This is him around talking about the talking to the grooms and he's talking about um, uh, what's happened in his past and um, how he'd been cheated on. I was in a relationship and then I found out that it was just like cheated on me. Oh, like, man, that's just brutal. Yes, but I'm so glad it happened while I'm still young and hot. Like, imagine doing it like... <laughs> Is it? Imagine it happened like 40 or 50 when I've got, like, all my options are gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> When all your <laughs> options are gone, it's so funny. In your forties and fifties, it's so funny because for a <laughs> millisecond you felt sorry for him, and, and then, then it's like, oh no, he no, decides no, no. to just <laughs> punch everyone over forty in the gut. It's a really good point. Single, like, it's like, a really good point. Well, I mean, the people over forty <laughs> should be hotter, Nathan. What? That's on them. Yeah, what? they're not that they're hottest. They're on the downhill slide. When you when you hit the forty mark, you're on the downhill Could slide. Could I be fair? Ellie's nodding you, over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Could I just say, and I do love it because we used to be this the same. When you're young and you can't see the fact that you're going to get old. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. When, you, when you're young and you cannot foresee the fact uh, that you're going to be 40 one day, Ali's that person. <laughs> <laughs> Even though her knees don't work. That's right. Um, i that. So that was that, right? So anyway, the big scandal of the night was, so Bronte, she's a lovely Perth girl. She's in it for the right reasons. Yes. Really, 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 really lovely. Um, she gets pulled aside by one of her friends because when um, Harrison's up at the altar mm-hmm. and then this um, one of um, her friends, I think it was her name, is Jessica, he says Harrison. Suddenly it dawns on her and you can see her face going, wait there. Like just the, the, the cogs are turning. Cogs are turning. So then she announces that she knows who Harrison is because she knows a girl that's in her 20s mm. that mm. is dating Harrison. Oh, she's obviously hot then because she's yes. in her 20s. Yeah, she's in her 20s. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, so Jessica tight. pulls Bronte aside um, and says that um, and, and tells her that um, uh, firstly that he has a kid that she hasn't told her about but that's okay because it's right at the start of it. Yep. But he's been planning his future with this 20 year old girl um, she showed her all these fr- screenshots showed her um, the, the screenshot of um, the photo of him packing his luggage I think it was at her house um, he said to her oh wouldn't it be amazing if I got wouldn't it be full on if I got you pregnant before I went on this show the scandal that would She's be 20. so what? really baiting alone. <laughs> re- re- really like really like solidifying yes. the fact that he's going to be with her yes. after this process so then Jessica goes and tells Bronte Bronte is absolutely shocked yes. in tears we saw her face on the promo um, and her then eyes she, bugged out of her head and then she <laughs> She confronts Harrison, and I just love when a guy has been confronted, and they they don't know how someone found out the truth, and they're just trying to just trying to deal with it on the spot. Here it is. Who's the twenty year old that you have on the outside? I don't have a twenty year old. Be outside. honest. Come I was, on, please be honest with me. Um, look, um, <laughs> I was seeing a number of girls before I came into this. Look, there was there's someone that um, I've like had a crush on for a long time, and we connected we connected like a week before doing this. 
Like, you're just, you're like blindsiding me with this. I don't... The fact that you've said through this experiment, apparently to her... That's what she is, I think, hoping. OK, why would this girl lie? The person you're talking about really likes me. OK. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm, I'm 100% honesty. I might have said things that would kind of soften the blow of, like, no, I'm doing this, and, you know, if we catch up later, great. Anyway, He's a catch. Uh, Garbage can fire, uh, that whole catch. thing is. That's the red flag. It's so enormous. Oh, I don't know what to do. Really, really and for really any me. guy that has been <laughs> caught, right? So if you're doing something dodgy right now and you think one day you might be caught and it might take you as a surprise, never, ever string these things together. Um, <laughs> look. Uh, look. Um... <laughs> <laughs> The ratings you gotta, oh, for married at first sight had to go. through the roof. Through the roof. Pretty what much was it? double what... Um, that, who's uh, second? Uh, well, so he's nationally, it was like a couple of newses, then married at first sight, then more news, more news, more news, a current affair, 7.30, four quarters, back roads on the ABC, then the chase, then media watch, then home and away, then survivor, then Australian Idol. Oh, Whoa. Survivor beat Idol. Yeah. Well, that's nationally. Yeah. How did it that's go? Nationally. What about Perth? Locally, it's, it, it's similar. So um, it was about double what Survivor got. Um, uh, and Idol, Survivor did, Idol? Idol did a bit better in Perth than it did nationally. But, but uh, Survivor still Very better? Very interesting. No. No, no, okay. It be, beat Survivor. Sorry, I'm waiting nice. for the point because, honestly, oh, I, I don't have much time for the show at all um, because, you know, it's just so... Concocted. Oh yeah, that's right. It's, t- it's t- trash TV. I'm, I'm surprised it's a that train wreck. people aren't what? going. Oh, I've had enough of that. You know, because because sooner or later, um, like my kitchen rules. Yeah. At some stage, that was a juggernaut, right? That's and then right. we just go, oh, we're done. We're done. Yeah. We're done. But th- this, that was because it got too confrontational. But this show's built on confrontation. They, people get exactly what they expect from that show. Right. And the other thing is, even if it wasn't rating like that, as John Aiken, t- it sold into 120 countries. Yeah. It has such an, a, a massive yeah. Yeah. Um, international market. They could afford to make it and it, it not right here if Look, they're still selling it. All I think you have to do is just follow your heart when you're watching free-to-air TV. At the moment, mine's with Idol. <laughs> <laughs> it really is at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's with Idol. Well, it's pure. Idol's pure. It's like they're pure. not. It's not concocted for the drama. Yeah, and yeah. Kyle's. I mean, they love funny. a backstory. Kyle's funny. Obviously. Kyle's funny. Kyle's funny. Well, yeah, you I'm might think it. he's a bit of an a-hole, but he's he's, he's, he's a funny a-hole. a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat. And Sean podcast. A new show. Mm. Like, it's a familiar um, format because we've seen uh, the UK version of Taskmaster. Yes, yes. And it's so good. Yeah. Uh, there is an Australian version. It uh, kicks off on Thursday at 7.30 yeah. on Channel 10 and on 10 Play. And who else in Australia would they cast to be the Taskmaster other than Tom Gleeson? Oh, my God. Hi, Tom. He's Tom, this is, this is it. Commercial television. Whew. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Tom uh, G'day. Well, you know, Sell I was happy out. to come back to Channel 10 because I was on Channel 10 mm. and yes. they, um, mm. they fired me. So yeah. I went to the ABC. Yes. Yeah. Became more popular than Channel 10. Mm. And so now they've begged me to come back. Yeah, wow. yeah they have. Rightfully I have to say, so. that, that gold logo really pries some doors open. Though, <laughs> and then it also works as a doorstop to keep them open <laughs> for a few <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> I know it's funny because I, I pointed out in my speech that the gold logie doesn't mean anything. Yes. But unfortunately, <laughs> uh, people forgot that and now they start to believe that it does. <laughs> so all that hard work I did has been undone. Tom, yes. the thing that you notice when you watch a Taskmaster is it looks like there's a bit of money spent um, well, on the well, set. they bought a You've caravan got li- and everything. <laughs> yeah, you've got the live audience. It seems to be in full swing as well. That's a, a lot different from being at the ABC, I would have thought. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I guess there, there is a bigger budget, which is very exciting. But also, it's good to hang out with other comedians again because on Hard Quiz, I've, you know, we've been doing it yeah. a long time. I've been uh, I, I've been rubbishing just the general public. Yes. Yeah. And let's be honest, when they're having a go at me, they've got no chance. Yeah. 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 So it's good to have a go at comedians who actually have a fighting chance of, of, of mixing it and matching it with me with the banter. Uh, they don't. But no, it's just good no. to feel that they, they have it. They, yeah. they, 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 they you, feel like they're in the game. Do you feel more comfortable yeah. surrounding yourself with species rather than normies? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I'm not sure which show you're referring to. We are uh, talking about comedians. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Pretty, pretty special. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, Tom Cashman as your sidekick. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, God love him. He's funny. He is. He's great. He's I'm funny. a big fan of his, actually. Which brings me to this, Tom, and don't, don't get defensive, but you don't really do much, do you? <laughs> 
Oh, in the show? Yeah, no, I don't no, really have no. to do much at all. Like, I actually, yeah. I'm actually like a viewer of the show, except I'm in the show. Yeah. Because really I just get to sit back, watch the comedians attempt these tasks, and then critique them at length afterwards. And I pretty much get to say all the things that you probably want to say, having That's watched great. it. It's like Gogglebox, yeah. box, essentially. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty much, it's like, it's like a business class seat of watching the show. I'm right up the front of the plane and I get to, I've got the best view. Which which is interesting, isn't it? Because I'm sure, Tom, your sidekick, um, who's out at all the, the yeah, film, film doing shoots, the actual grunt I'm work. guessing he gets paid dramatically less than you. Oh, yeah, he gets paid way less than me. So, yeah, I've got the dream job. They, all the contestants, they have to go on location to complete all the tasks. Yeah. Tom Cashman is there on location yeah. allocating the tasks. Yeah. I only have to turn up to the studio. That's it. I'm like, you know, like... um. You know, like with Formula One, they've got the engineers and everyone, yep. they build the Ferrari and then just someone jumps in at the end and drives it. That's yeah. me. <laughs> That's you. That's <laughs> you. So I was in actually in the newsroom just a second ago and I, um, we had the ABC on and I want to and ch- we love Channel 10 Channel, obviously because yeah, that's what you're yeah, working on yeah. at the moment but it did show that Hard Quiz was coming back as well. I'm wondering if you're not ah. going to get yourself in a position where um, you're, you're going to be like Osher Ginsburg where you're just, ev- you know, yeah, you're just on every station. Wow. Yeah, well, ho- hopefully not because um, unlike Osher, I think I understand the limits the audience can stand of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hopefully. So I'm, I'm, there's 10 episodes of Taskmaster yes. and then uh, Hard Quiz runs all year. They're on different nights. Yes. And um, hopefully that's just enough for people, I think. Maybe twice a week is, is already is a bit too much. That's the limit. So I'm, yeah. God, I, I won't be the any other offers. Oh. Now, Tom, the prize, obviously, in Taskmaster is um, that gold um, bust of your head. Mm. What was the process yeah. they went through to cast that? Uh, <laughs> it was my head was scanned, like yeah, uh, right. so it was made with a three D printer. So I had to go to a warehouse in the suburbs of Melbourne and just sit there while there was a man and me in a shed, and he just scanned <laughs> my head for about fifteen minutes. I mean, that's and I wasn't allowed to talk. It was a very, it was like, yeah, it was like going to a barber, but there was just no short talk. You know, there was no small talk. It was just him scanning my head, and then when I was done, I was out of there. And I must admit, I remember that morning, I was very hungover, and it was a really bad time to start to feel a bit paranoid and introspective (laughs) as a man just slowly moved a device I didn't understand around my head. <laughs> Isn't that odd? Because when someone takes a photo of you, right, especially yes. when you're getting you're doing a photo shoot, you've done the mm. course, Tom, yeah. and they're taking a close-up, like you try to look yeah. more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no hiding a 3D scan, isn't there? No. Like, you know, you're trying to let you know, like no. lift your eyes a bit and <laughs> suck in your cheeks. No, and, and, and you know, I'm, you've all done TV before. Like yes. when you're on television, you watch it back. You never look like what you think you do. Well... I'm actually hosting a TV show while sitting next to what my head actually looks like. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's uh, from the self-loathing I had to push through to host yes. this show is extraordinary. That's confronting. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Tom, we haven't spoke to you since the, uh, well, end of last year, probably. Mm. Um, h- how did your Christmas summer period go? Oh, I had a great time. I, I just I just went to the beach with my family and I never get hassled by anyone. <laughs> you went to the, the beach with your family. That's with the your biggest lie I've ever heard. Ginger. What are you talking about? Because I'm a middle-aged man and, and, you know, and I mean, my wife and I, we had a few arguments in a car park at Noosa, but no one filmed <laughs> Who doesn't? So Who doesn't? we had a good time. <laughs> but you really just are trying to get another gold Logie, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I know that was quite a performance. Hey, yeah. Is there a difference between um, your 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 dressing room at Channel Ten to your dressing room at the ABC? Is it is one better? Oh. Do you have nice things in it? Yeah, talk to me. Yeah, well, at Channel Ten, I've mm. got a really large dressing room. Yes, and uh, it was shot in studios where they actually shoot the chase as well on Channel Seven. Oh. And my dressing room was larger than Larry Emden, I'm happy to say. Good work. Whereas at the ABC, uh, there is no dressing room. (laughs) I just walk in off the street, off the tram, walk straight in and onto the set. (laughs) (laughs) They hand him a stick of lip balm and then he's ready to go. No, he has to bring his own. I pick up up my suit from Vinny and I just get on the tram, go to the the studio, walk in the front door and host the show. (laughs) All right, so everyone should watch Charles Mark. It's It's really, really funny. And the the comedians are are awesome. Um, I didn't know... uh, What's that girl called? Danielle Walker. Danielle, I didn't know much about her. I I saw her win Raw Comedy a few years ago. She's Uh, a terrific talent. By the end of the first episode. Yeah, Daniel Walker, I think, is 
Danielle Walker, I think, is going to become everyone's new favourite comedian. Yeah. I'm very excited. To see you might have seen her on the her. eBay ads yeah. with the Let's Get Sushi Carol. Yeah, 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 yeah. On that yeah, ad, yeah. yeah. Jimmy yeah. Reeves as well, very yes, funny. Yes. Um, Luke uh, McGregor, who's one of our lovely Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great right. show. Nice Check it out one. Thursday night, 7.30 on Channel 10. It's always a pleasure, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. You see, um, uh, remember the bin chicken? Yeah. We no, barely, barely. Vaguely. Tim Collins. We let, we let him go. Used to be our digital content producer. And um, we thought, God, oh, will there ever be a person that can replace him in our hearts? Yeah. Mm. And then this weirdo called Sam started working with us. Hi, Sam. Hello. He took Hi, Tim's Sam. job. Are you going to leave back? us? I'm sick of you guys already. Are you going to leave <laughs> us for a TikTok career? Uh, no. Okay, the great. great thing about Sam is he has no other prospects. So <laughs> we, really, we, we know, we know no firmly ambition. he's going to be here Zero forever. <laughs> we made sure that was, um, we, we looked at his CV yeah. and made sure that was that was the case. Yeah, no one else would take him. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, a, he's an interesting little fella, isn't he? Yeah, it's he like is. every time we peel back a bit of this onion, we find something, Another something really interesting. Well, it's so a fresh relationship for all is, of us, yeah. so we're getting to know each other. It is. Yeah. So journey Sam's, of discovery. Sam's walked in the other day and he had um, this little bag on, this little bag, a little crossbody. It looks like a bum bag, but you're wrap it around your shoulder, yeah. you know, your so shoulder. Dirty. What's it a called? A little black one. It's probably, what, the size of a, what, oh. a, a, a it, half an A4 sheet of paper? It, you'd get into um, RAC Arena with it yes. because it's less than an yeah. A4 yeah. piece It's basically yeah. the size of a bum bag, okay? And I went to Sam, oh, this is a nice little bag, isn't it? And he goes, thank you so much. And then I always ask Sam the same question, recommended retail price, okay. in which Sam told me... $500. <laughs> And oh, we said, no. "Are you insane, Sam? You Sean? No, Sean. Not, it doesn't. There's not no. much to it. It's essentially a flat bag. There's no. Oh. It's not like it's got lots of fancy zips on and it then, or anything. It's got one zip yeah, to open. So then it. he That's opens it. up the zip to explain himself, like to shut me up forever, and goes mm, and shows me like is he miyaki? I'm like, I don't care who it, I don't care who it is. Five hundred dollars. So this would be. Bag. There's sure, no, um, sure. Yes. If you were to buy this material from yeah. Spotlight, yes. yeah. this would be three dollars, four dollars, yes. uh, yes. a little bit more. So but yeah, $5? In my defence, cost per wear. I've had it for two cost years now, wear. and I wear it every single day. Now, Sam, what did you tell me about the pants made out of the same material? A whole pair of pants. What do they cost? Did you buy? Yeah, them? they were five fifty. Did you buy yeah. those pants? So the same yeah. to amount. To go with the bag. Yeah. Did you buy the pants to go with Sorry. the bag? But Nathan, the same amount of... They're a bit weird on the crotch. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your crotch, not the pants fault. <laughs> you, need, you need to cut them up and turn them into bags and sell them because there's not a lot of fabric sure, in them. I hope my mum's not listening because she will absolutely kill me. $500 <laughs> well, for this bag. And, and do you want the orange one? I do. I yeah. think I'm going to get and you're going it. To... No, the orange one's on sale for like $280. Oh, $280 is too much. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right now, $60 is too much. I paid this. $300 for a handcrafted handbag in Florence, and that was like my big purchase. Dude. I'm and like, I'm really it splashed you out. It. I know, but I'm not going to spend $500 <laughs> on that. So, we showed it to Amy, our producer, yesterday, and she. What was your guess, Amy? You threw I, it. I said, oh, what, $25? But the max willing to pay, $29.99. <laughs> Can I tell you? <laughs> Now, no, 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 no. $25 dot, dot, dot from the markets. Yes. <laughs> that's what it looks like. All right, so that's your Izzy Miyake bag. You brought in a couple of other bags. You said this is nothing. Yeah. So what's, said, this, that's only the what's with this it. yellow clutch? <laughs> So okay, yellow like clutch. Yellow, it is a yellow clutch. It's yellow. Did you yeah, buy this off your mum? It's a yellow. No. <laughs> I bought this. Um, <laughs> it's high It sort of looks like a lever hatch file cover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, or an iPad. <laughs> or, an iPad. <laughs> or an iPad. It looks yeah. like an iPad, iPad cover. cover. What is this? Yeah. What was this for? Uh, it's a clutch. It just yeah. Like what's it for? Oh. It's to carry his just phone. To carry my my phone and my accoutrement. <laughs> okay, your accoutrement. All right. Great. Okay. Sorry, thousand apologies. <laughs> Label <laughs> accoutrement. Brand. I don't know what that word is. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's have a guess. Can I? Name. Can I? Can I feel it, please? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, and don't squeeze okay. too hard. That's his accoutrement. <laughs> All right. If I was walking through um, Target, I would see stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. In the audio yeah. visual sen- for yeah. your iPad. Yeah. 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 I don't disagree. And by I would the way. think thirty. <laughs> Oh, thirty dollars, uh, maybe thirty nine ninety. Yeah, from, oh, yeah, from okay. Office Works. Is it is it leather? So it gives it, if it's yeah, yeah, it's this leather. Is leather. So that so yeah, probably a hundred and yeah. Oh, you can 10. get cheap leather. You yeah, get cheap leather. All right, well, tell us. Uh, nine eighty. Nine hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> Are you insane? Get off the glass oh, pipe, mate. You, wait, did you win the lotto? Why have no. you got so much handbag money? 
No. I mean, man bag I mean, money. I know, this is my little surprise. <laughs> this is a surprise one. What is this? This, this is one a, I take out on a sorry, special night sorry. out. And this I just is carry. a little love heart thing that looks it's like it would, just, it would be for a yeah. doll. Yes, a little or, beaded love heart. What is this? It's, that's what a little this is, kid takes this to is, This is the one that I brought in for this a surprise. Insane. How much is um, this? I just take out Tic Tacs for that one. Yeah. <laughs> How much is this? <laughs> That was very cheap. Okay, that was very good. I don't know you guys. I don't know bucks. I don't know. No, I think uh, well, it's like 20 bucks. I'm terrified to see what's inside this Oh, my God, is it a radio? Oh, my God, it's a tiny bag. All right, sorry, guys. So that's your Izzy Miyako one. Now, what's happening over here? What's this big black bag? This is an so, overnight duffel, yes? And can I just say, I've had all these things for, like, a very long time. Oh, oh okay. okay. That doesn't oh, make so it even I can't buy these things anymore because I took the job at Nova. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's on you, right, Matt. So, so that's a is. lovely black overnight duffel bag, yeah? Ba- Bally? Bally. 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 A I mean, Bally's an expensive brand. Over, over, okay, so... So 1500 okay, so Palladium, okay. silver hardware, so buffalo leather... 500, I'm going to say 1500 for I'm that. I'm going to say 2800 To be fair, Red. really, it's a $90 bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, max. Yeah. 2800 It's a $90 bag. You get that big for doing the Rotto Swim for free. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Good point. It's not leather, though, is it? It does the same job. <laughs> right, That's true, functionally. Price. Recommended retail? 3000 oh, oh! I was a closer! It's $3,000. Do they come with a kilo of drugs in there or something? I didn't pay 3000 <laughs> It does look like the sort of bag that a drug dealer <laughs> would have bought with a full of cash. Sorry, That's what you okay. get with it. You didn't oh, pay 3000 What did you get on? What was the sale price? Oh, he paid 4000 <laughs> No, she got like half price. It was like 1500 But that's oh. even... Like, oh. That's too much. Anyway. But, uh, and every flight I go on, it comes with me and it looks great. Buffalo leather, it's tough. I thought, you know, cost per wear. Cost per wear. Cost per wear. For all those, all those flights are going on. That's me, yeah. Do people come up to you, do people who know bags go, oh, I love your... Love your bag. You know, love your they, they can spot it, really, honestly. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah, like, this brand's really popular, yeah. so... If you want to check out the bags, you can go to Nathan and Sean Instagram page, and then you two can realise, I'm, yes. uh, are you insane? In Knowing lock. that the person who's putting yeah. the photos up is yeah. Sam. Which just <laughs> brings us to this, because I think this would be interesting. Sure. Cause, um, uh, we all know these people. We do. These people that have bought something, and then you find out... That either what they've bought because it's so in, so insane that they've bought it, or how much it costs because yes. it's incomprehensible that someone would spend that much money on yeah. this thing. We are talking Especially about when, when you know how much they make. <laughs> we are talking about when you show. So either you show someone and you get this reaction, or someone showing you something yeah. and you get this reaction where you go, "Are you insane?" Give us a call, 13, 24, 10. We're going to give somebody $300 to spend at Coconut Grove. You can hit the dance floor at Coconut Grove for exclusive party deals and quick access. Visit coconutgrovetavern.com.au. Thank you. Ellie will be there. All right, give us a call. <laughs> Luke's in Mandra. Hello, Luke. Hello, how are you? Oh, Wonderful, Luke. Okay. All right, is this something you got, Luke, or someone else got? Uh, yeah, so no, I purchased it. Um, <laughs> so it was, um, it was a Josh Kennedy uh, footy jumper, his last worn jumper when he won uh, in the Eagles. So it was around 15 last season. Oh, yes. yes. Um, and it was in an auction and I had, uh, I'd planned on only paying 3000 and I got caught in the moment and I ended up paying 11 and a half. Oh! Luke! We could have got you one for 100 bucks. Luke! <laughs> Luke, so do you have a missus, Luke? She doesn't understand. Yeah, she's a Docker fan, so she'll never laugh again. Um, <laughs> I kind of like it. My oldest that. daughter uh, is an eagle, so she she's over the moon about it. Okay, no, 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 sorry. $11,000. Like, are you... Yeah, like, eleven and a half thousand dollars So, is that going to ever go up in price? Like, talk to me. God, well, you, you'd hope so. You, but what? I don't know. I don't I've know never if you been would. like um, that. I don't know. You know, he's the greatest ever goal kicker the West Coast Eagles will have. That'll Terrific stand for a, uh, a, a, a period time, of time. Yeah. There's no doubt about that, Nath, but... Jeez, man. Luke. <laughs> Luke. Did you have money regret well spent, the next money day? Well spent. Do you, oh, so you, you have no regrets about that? Oh, absolutely not, no. <laughs> maybe maybe paid a little bit too much. Of course you did. Money. You reckon? There's only two of them. There's only two of them, and I have one of them. Yeah. So, yeah. No, but, I'm but happy that, with me purchase. Nah. Okay, so that's okay, the day. Kicked, how many goals did you keep that day? Seven. No, uh, more. it was eight or nine, wasn't it? On that last game, where was it? It was eight, 11, I think. Well, yeah. oh, Luke should know he bought the jersey. <laughs> Luke, how many did he kick in that last game? No, no. So his last game, I believe he kicked yeah seven or eight, but it was actually the round fifteen. So it was the last game he won when he played for the Eagles. Oh, oh it wasn't even his wasn't last game. Wasn't even his last game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke, you idiot, <laughs> Luke! You got caught up in the moment. You, if you go to an auction next time, take cash and leave your credit card at home. That's right. And that's it. And then that's all you can spend. Yes. <laughs> oh, Luke. Luke. Oh, okay, no. Luke. Luke says it's worth it.
Yep. Anyway. No regrets. No. Thanks, Luke. Tegan, hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, oh, Tegan. Tegan. It's about your husband. Yes, so my husband, <laughs> he decided to treat himself over Christmas yes. and he bought himself a Versace spray jacket, like a windbreaker. Oh, yes. It's oh. very, very thin. Um, he imported it from the US, so it came in at about $2,000 for a, for a windbreaker. So this is like that, it's like that parachute material stuff, isn't yep. it? Yeah, really and it's thin, thin. It's as thin as, there's no even lining in it really, is there? Nope. That's it. And does like, it actually protect warm. you from the weather? No. <laughs> no, it does not. Does it look good? I mean, it looks nice, oh, but I'm, well, he doesn't, he's not active in terms of like going to the gym or running. So I'm like, when are you going to wear this, babe? So has he, where does he worn it? He hasn't worn it yet, so he only just got it this Christmas past. <laughs> it's, it's currently sitting in the wardrobe, you know, nicely packed, along with all the other bougie items he's yes. purchased. It's not Talk really to the me about for it. So, so I'm so glad I didn't get the bougie bug, right? Mm, because yeah. that is an expensive road to walk down. So he he's caught the bougie bug? Oh, absolutely. I just have stopped asking. He doesn't even have parcels delivered to our house anymore. Oh, he yeah. gets them delivered to my parents' house so that <laughs> there's someone to intercept God. it between me and him. So what else has he got? What else has he got in his collection? I mean, he's got a Versace wallet. Oh, that was... I don't. I didn't buddy. ask about that. Oh, he I also mean... got some Gucci sneakers as well for Christmas. So I felt a little bit guilty for not going, like, out outrageous for Christmas for yes. him and then when all these parcels started to rock yeah. up I went I yeah, yeah, too. can I, I just say it's an interesting can I say, aesthetic the Versace yeah. aesthetic too, I, I don't like I mean? the Versace like, aesthetic I think it's so tacky like, um, yeah so <laughs> your husband needs to like pull out from there Louis Vuitton right so so I, I like I um, we make good money let's be honest we make good money and we can probably afford these things but um, he's just, looking at me not you um, yeah, no, <laughs> he's not looking at me straight past me but I, I will not do it so it was my mate's birthday just recently um, you know like last year and I thought I thought, well, what does he love? And I know he loves Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. And I went, okay, what could I get him? So I thought, okay, the, I'm going to look on Louis they Vuitton. they do a key ring? Yes. <laughs> so the only thing I thought was to look in the accessories because I might yes. be able to find something little. And then I thought, oh, my God, he loves his coffee. Maybe I'll get him a reusable coffee cup. $1,200 for a reusable <laughs> Louis Vuitton coffee cup. Oh. I didn't buy it. No. I refused. Uh, but someone out there like your, your bougie uh, husband buying yes. will buy that. It's oh god! It blows my mind. Blows my mind. Thirteen, anyway, twenty-four, ten. We are like just Tegan. we are calling people insane. <laughs> insane, yeah. For their for their choices, for their purchases. All right. If there's someone wants. in your life, or you know it's you, give us a call. Be honest. Three hundred dollars to spend at Coconut Grove is going to find a new home, so you can claw back some of the Wear cash you spent. Versace spray jacket. Hi, Kylie. Hello. Hi, Hi Kylie. Kylie. All right. Who's Kylie. the culprit? I am, or my my ex husband and I are. Okay. Yes, okay. Here we go. Seventy thousand dollars on a wedding. The marriage lasted two years. Oh, oh it's not <laughs> money for it's not value for money. There, still I paying it off, Kylie. Kylie. <laughs> Um, well, our parents were kind of competing against one another. Oh, okay. Well, that's a great position. So to be in. they were like, "Oh, you need this and you need that," and then we like aviation known to quite a heavy drinking. Sort of culture, um, and I'm also a country girl, so add the two combined. I think we spent twenty thousand dollars on the tab. So the booze, twenty thousand dollars on oh booze. My God. Was it top level yeah. stuff, or was it just 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 a lot? It was just a lot of low level stuff, Sean. <laughs> Quantity yeah. over quality. It was not cocktails or anything like that. It was just. Just the yeah. basics. The cleaners would have definitely yeah. hated us. Yeah, yeah. it's just rubbish bins full of beer, Sean. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, uh, so, uh, what was the, the most... Very <laughs> so so $20,000 on booze, that's yes. insane. What was the other cost that you went, oh, um, God, I regret the, that. Well, our photographer, I paid $9,500 for him. For photos oh. that you um, no longer want to look at? Yep. Yeah, well, we didn't even get our photos. Oh, why? It was a scam. <gasps> yeah, oh. What? What do you mean? Was yep. he there? Did he have a fake camera? <laughs> well, he was taking photos and he followed the limos and he rocked up to our accommodation and everything like that. Yeah. But I'm like, three months later, I'm like, hey, we're supposed to have our photos a month ago. And he's like, no, you didn't pay for that yeah, package. But, oh, what? The what? package where you got the photos? <laughs> <laughs> you just paid for me to take them. You didn't pay for me for you to receive them. Jeez, how much do you have to pay to get your photos? Nine and a half grand. Are you joking? Yeah, I, I wish I was. Did you report him? 
I wish, yeah, he was a horrible person in the end. He was like, no, he blocked my mum's calls, my calls. That's a consumer. Oh, that, absolutely. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. This is ACA. But I yeah. can have a receipt because I'm doing bank deposits. Oh. Yeah. oh. Do you think that was a sign of the times, so Kylie, when you think back on it? Yeah. Uh, oh, it was 2011. Yeah, no. What he's Sorry. saying, it was a, it was a sign that the that the marriage wasn't going to work out. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Red um, flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon but maybe? My best friend is my ex husband. So what was that? We. Are oh, you best friends? My ex husband. Yeah, we're best friends still. So that's nice. <laughs> Is it real? Well, it's a lot of money yeah. paid to get a best friend. Everybody else does it for free, I'm just saying. $70,000. On a wedding Kylie. last two years. Like, remember when you were mad because you bought a present for somebody whose wedding, only, whose marriage only lasted 11 months. I know. $250. Yeah. Well, that was, I, I was angry at that, firstly because they went in for the long haul and I deserved a refund, mm. but also Sean and I agreed to give $250 <laughs> and Sean at the end, once the envelopes were passed in, only gave $200 and, and, and then and I, was, I couldn't go up there and get my extra 50 bucks out. And also, that was from him and Megan. Him and, and Megan, just me just solo. You. And yeah. all I want to do is get out there, but the presents were right in front of everyone. I was like, I just want to go in there and just go, 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 go to the hot tea urn and just like, <laughs> like, like, like I, I would never let it go. <laughs> and we should have been given money back. We should have been because we Do that normally... last a year, do the math on, your, on how long you live and then you give me back the appropriate money. But also, isn't it one of the things when you're um, uh, thinking about the wedding <laughs> gift is if you're giving money, is it like... Like the people are putting on a show or whatever. You, is it covering your costs? Right, yeah, that... roughly. Like that, That's a good guide. It's an equivalent of what it would cost. Oh, my God. Yeah, so oh, my cost. God. When the old ladies were walking up taking the glad wrap off the coleslaw, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that my $250 could have been better spent elsewhere. <laughs> Some expensive cabbage, Nathan. Anyway, um, sorry, anyway. a thousand apologies. Um, anyway. Sorry, an <laughs> that person doesn't live in this state anymore. It's fine. Uh, Jessica, Hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, Jess. Jess. Who is the crazy person spending a lot of money? Uh, me. I actually have a really expensive hobby. Yes. What is that? Oh, here we go. Um, so it's it's called Asian ball jointed doll. Asian ball jointed dolls. Yes. Sean's got three of them. I bet. What are they? <laughs> what are they? What is it? So, um, so basically, they're anatomically correct dolls. <gasps> um, they're about thirty to sixty centimeters in size, okay. and they're from South Korea. What? How much do they cost for one? So, um, on average, it's about. Six hundred to seven hundred dollars each, but the most expensive one I've paid is two thousand dollars. Okay, how, how many have you got? Insane, over um, thirty. These, oh oh my 30. god! What do you do with them, Jessica? They, they do look very lifelike, oh, don't, don't they, yes. Jessica? Oh, this is way. creepy. <laughs> so basically, you can customize them. A lot of people do a lot of photo shoots. They create uh, stories with them, with their characters, oh, sweet, huh? and they bring their characters yours? to life. Jessica. Um, so I display mine in a big giant cabinet, um, and I've dressed them all up, and I've named them, and I customize their their wigs <laughs> and their Jessica, eyes. Jessica, can and I tell you clothes. one thing? Can I tell you one thing? Anybody that visits your house Correct. thinks they're going to get murdered. It's terrified. Anybody <laughs> thinks because that that's a murder. Like, I totally people, agree. How yeah. do people react when they see them for the first time? Thirty of them. Um, so my my friends and family all think they're creepy. They they don't want to go near them. And every time I say which one's my most expensive doll, they always point to the biggest boy that I have. But it's actually a little girl that I have that's the most expensive, and she's right. sitting right at the front. Oh my god! I'm going to ask you something right now, and it's going to disturb me. Have you named them all? Yes. Of course, yes. What's the what's the little girl's name? The most expensive one. <laughs> Her name is Lily. What's the oh. boy's name? <laughs> well, I have I have over thirty, but my my very first doll, his name is Michaelis, and um, I accidentally <laughs> chipped his nose. Oh no! Oh, oh that is horrendous. Well, he's going to murder you in your sleep, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> Jessica, can I ask you? I think everyone's wanting to know. Are you single? <gasps> Yes. Oh, Jessica, Jessica, <laughs> Jessica if you ever want Wouldn't love in your life, me? you have to bury these dolls out in so the pine deep. forest. So deep. <laughs> Sweetheart, no one, no, no man, no man is coming near you with these, honey. Or woman, I don't know we, don't know who you want. No, 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 I just, I'm worried about your future. 
<laughs> we all, we all are. <laughs> but then again, yes. you've got thirty dolls. I know. You, you know what? You let, yes, you, you, I'm not lonely. Yeah, you, you let. You, <laughs> no. We, can I just say? And the saddest thing is. No, I, I agree with her. She's less alone it. than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are you a part of a society? I know we could talk yeah. about this forever. Is are you it, a part of a group that does oh, this? Jesus by the way, God. Jess. Yes, yes. There is a, a big group in Australia that does it. Oh, do, do you ever meet in public? Do you ever meet in person? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do meet and greet. So are there we, any um, men? Show off all our dolls. Any men in that uh, group? There are a couple of guys out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who collect dolls. Yeah. You, you wouldn't meet in the daytime, wouldn't you? Because it'd be too embarrassing. Everybody's <laughs> each other. Again. No, it would be like no. I'm, I'm guessing you'd be in a park and you'd have a picnic with them all. Is that right? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, we do picnics and we do go to cafes and stuff. Oh, Jessica, oh, do you take you your dolls you with are. you? Fascinating. Oh, when yes. you go, of course you do. Oh, you're not going to yeah. have a picnic in the park on your own. Exactly. You're not going to meet up like a bunch of weirdos without your dolls. <laughs> okay, that's I, I mean, I can't bring all 30 unless I had like no. three suitcases worth. Yes. But, I know. Yeah. One but big you pick pram. your favourites and pram. say we're going I on do. an outing today. Yeah, Jessica, can Jessica, I say you, you are, fascinating. are my favourite and I love everything you're doing right now. But don't come <laughs> near <you>. us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't come near us. Restraining order out already. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call the police. Hey, hey, Jess, we really we enjoyed you, the Jess. conversation. Thank you for calling. Jess, it's so interesting. I love you. We've got three hundred dollars no, for you, Jess, to spend at Coconut Grove. Now, this is a, a club, my friend. Yeah. Hit the dance floor at Coconut Grove for exclusive party deals and oh. quick access. You can visit coconutgrovetavern.com.au and you can go out and meet real yes. humans. You leave her alone. She takes some. Asian ball jointed friends. <laughs> um, I just, just like, how old are you, by the way? Um, I'm, I'm turning thirty-two. You're turning thirty-two. You sound so sweet and innocent. I know. You can you do us a favour? Can you take a photo of your yes, thirty dolls so we can put it up on our Instagram? Because I need to see these. Yeah, sure, I can do that. You know right. what? Good you keep Thank listening. You. you call any time. I'd love to interview all 30 of your dolls. <laughs> we'll work our way through the collection. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.